information processes organizing. Now here we're going to take a look at organizing, which if you list the information processes in the order that they're shown in the syllabus is kind of the second information process. So let's have a look at what it actually means. So the definition of the specific information process of organizing is the arrangement or organizing of data once it's been entered into an information system. So we've had collecting happen first, so we actually enter data into the system. With organizing, it's how it's arranged now once it's been entered into the system. So let's first look at some methods of organizing data. So firstly, we're not going to actually talk about information technology at all. We're going to actually say pen and paper. When you're writing notes in an exercise book, it is structured. There are lines there on the page which you write your letters on. Well, that's a method of organizing. In maths, you might actually have a grid book, and that's a different way of organizing, which makes it easy to draw diagrams and write mathematical equations. So pen and paper methods have their own types of organizing as well outside of information technology. Then we've got some methods that we do know related to information technology, such as spreadsheets, okay, which would link to Microsoft Excel, where we have a tabular format for entering our data into to do mathematical equations. We've got databases, which are arranged to store lots and lots of records, which are split into different categories of fields, which we can search through and obviously store large amounts of data for information systems. We've got presentation software, okay, which is exactly what you're looking at here. I actually make my videos using um, Microsoft PowerPoint, okay? And that method of organizing is all the data appears in different slides, okay? And that's its arrangement of an actual uh, type of data. We have word processing, okay, where we have documents, okay, and we enter text onto those documents, which are all spaced out into A4 pages or other size pages, depending what we want. And we have paint and draw programs, which allow us to do illustrations and paint programs allow us to uh, organize pixels, whereas draw pro, uh, programs allow us to show shapes to design our illustration. And finally, we have multimedia, okay, ways that we can organize different types of media together. So video, text, images, animation, and combine them together. So essentially, what we're saying here is these are the structures that we can organize our data in, and they are kind of all bound by different software. So as we talk about information technology now, we will look at the actual software that is used to do so. So firstly is the word processing software, which is used to create documents and allows us to enter the edit the data types and enter the data types of text and image, okay? Line by line down the page, okay? And it is pretty much in a sequential order. We can go text, 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 and we can insert an image after that and then write more text, 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 okay? And as said before, it splits it into specific A4 or A3 size pages or letter size pages, pending what we've set it to. But that's how it arranges the data. Next, we have spreadsheets, which organizes data in columns and rows. And it's used for pretty much editing numbers, okay, or displaying numbers, as well as letting us enter in text at the top in the headings, okay, which illustrates more information about what those numbers actually mean. And we call those labels, so that the letters are labels and the numbers are values, okay. Going on next, we have databases. As we said, it organizes its data in fields and records, and a lot of databases have thousands upon thousands of records in them, okay? And essentially, these records are all made up of text, okay? And they can include number as well, but primarily text in our databases, which is used to make them up. And they can have a whole variety of uh, different data types in these databases. And they're the backbone of pretty much any information system. Next, we have web browsers, okay? And web browsers are used for organizing hypermedia, okay? And hypermedia is things such as hypertext or linked images that we can click on that take us to other web pages. But the whole structure of organizing is through clicking on those hyperlinks or, you know, the images and the text that actually have those uh, destinations in their URLs, okay, that allow all the different web pages linked together. It's the whole backbone of how the internet actually works or any network drive actually works. We've got the presentation software, as said before, which arranges its data in slides, and it can be used to uh, arrange text, image, and the big thing we love about PowerPoint is animations, okay? And so it allows the users to uh, obviously enter all them into the information system. We have media players and viewers, which allow us to look at all the different media types, pending the type of media player we're using, okay? So we can, obviously, if I'm using iMovie, okay, I can then publish that movie, and it has uh, text in it, it can have images in it, but obviously there's a video attached to it too, okay? And it will play in, like, uh, whatever movie browser I have on my computer, 
Okay, and finally, we have paint and draw programs, which allow us to uh, enter into the system bitmap and vector graphics, which are used to represent images. So I hope this gives you an understanding of organizing. It's all about how the data will be arranged once it's entered into the system. The thing to firstly clear up here though, and this obviously gets addressed more in the next information uh, process we're gonna look at, is this is all about how the data appears once it enters the system. We haven't actually done anything to it yet. It's how it's arranged once it's entered into the system. When we actually start modifying this data and turning it into information, that all happens in the information process of analyzing. So for example, I've entered in my text and numbers into a spreadsheet, but I haven't said anything about formulas here because formulas that actually calculate the data, well, that's a process of analyzing. Okay, and so that comes up in our next information process of analyzing. So I hope this helps you illustrate what organizing is as an information process and the role it plays in information systems.